What's going on guys? It's MindedBike98 back with another video and today of course is the start of our new season of challenges in Fortnite Battle Royale or in particular why Fortnite Battle Royale is so challenging. So enjoy the video. Now first on our list we have snipers. Why are snipers so challenging? This should be a no-brainer. Um, for those of you who are not so good at sniping, there are people out there who are fantastic at it, such as YouTubers and other such like people. You see um, videos on YouTube of people sniping, people getting good headshots and all that. That's why it's so challenging. You always have to watch your back. You, you need a sniper in order to get a fair game with these other snipers. Now, the next one on our list is mobile gameplay. Now, this is for everybody, but in particularly for the people who have already tried Fortnite on mobile on the iPhone. You guys know how challenging it is to get kills, to build, and all those other sorts of things. Because mobile gameplay is much different from PC, Xbox, or PlayStation platforms. You, you're constantly touching the screen. You might have an attachment for Fortnite, but it's still pretty hard to control control it's just not easy to control so that's why mobile gameplay is the second to the top of our list because i mean it's challenging going against pc and other platforms when you're on a phone now the next one on our list is called boogie bombs now why is it called boogie bombs well it's self-explanatory you get hit by a boogie bomb, you have five seconds to try and hide from somebody or, you know, try and not get shot by the person who threw it. That's why it's so challenging because you never know when you're going to get bo boogie bombed. Sorry about that. Boogie bombed. And when you do get boogie bombed, you're pretty much a goner unless you have a good spot to hide in. And you have a good fort that you set up just for the occasion. So, if I were you guys, I would watch out for those boogie bombs. I'd watch out for other people around you. If you hear footsteps or you hear gunshots, I would build a fort around you. Now, the next one on our list is called New Players. This one in, is in particularly very hard because there are a lot of new players still joining Fortnite, believe it or not. Some people still haven't played Fortnite and they're joining just to see how it is. And they have bad experiences because there are a lot of people who have been playing this for a very long time. And they're pretty much dominating them right when they get into the game. So, if I were you guys, please do me this favor. And please be light on these new players. They're usually the no skins, but there are some people who try and be no skins just to trick you. Now for the next one on our list, we have players who are in the game but not playing. Here's an example. As you see, I had a shot guy who was AFK. I think that's the word for it. But that guy was not playing, I got a free shot off of him. But that's another reason that this game's challenging. Some people have places to go and they don't plan on something happening when they're involved in a game, so they have to go AFK just to, um, you know, j just to get the thing done and out of the way so they can go return to the game. But it's nine times out of ten, they will be shot and killed because they decided to do something else rather than to play the game. Now, it's not always good, it's not always a bad idea, but some people have better things to do than to play a game, which is why I think you should double check on what your daily duties are before you start playing Fortnite or any other game on your platform. Now guys, I just had to put this one in here, but tryhards really piss me off. They're usually the ones with the shotguns or with the sniper rifles who think they're all bad, and well, 10 to 1 they are, but Anyway, they, they're just tryhards. They run up on you. Sometimes they can jump and shoot you. They know how to build. Well, sometimes you can call them pro players, but I call them tryhards because they try too hard at the game. They play games too often. I mean, unless they're YouTubers, I give them the credit for that. But anyway, tryhards are another reason why this game is so challenging. You have a whole bunch of them in the game, no matter what platform you are on. You will always have at least one to two tryhards in in your game lobby. Now this one should be familiar to all players who have been playing Fortnite for a very long time or even a short period. The Storm. 
that is a very challenging subject to go over. Why do I say that? Because, well, it's just a storm, man. It's hard to get past. You always see a game where there are people who are dying from the storm. You know, they they, they, um, they got lost in a storm. That's the signal I think it puts out when someone dies. Anyway, the storm is a good reason that I put this on here. Watch out for the storm, guys. Make sure you check the map um, soon after the waiting period is over. Check where the storm's going to be. If it's too far from you, I would recommend just looting the one place you're at and go towards the storm or at least halfway towards it and loot more so you don't have to get caught in the storm. Now for number eight on our list, we have aim assist. Now, I know some of you're thinking, is an aim assist supposed to help you? Well, yes, it's supposed to help you, but nine times out of 10, when, you sh when you're a using aim assist to shoot somebody, it's gonna be aiming right behind them and you're never gonna get shot on them. I should know this because I play on mobile and aim assist is very important to me. Uh, when I'm playing my Fortnite games, I do often play Xbox, but mostly I do play on my mobile phone, iPhone, and I use aim assist, and it's really challenging because I have to turn it off just to get a shot off at somebody who I want to kill because aim assist is pretty much broken on the iPhone. The last one for today, guys, we have controller dies. This one pisses me off, and I'm just gonna go come to you straight with it. Make sure your controller is charged up before you start playing a game because you do not want it to die at the worst possible moment. You might be going against somebody, and then someone shoots you right after your controller dies, and you had them right in the spot you wanted them. Yet again, make sure your controller is totally charged up and you know you're ready to play a game with that very controller or battery or switch it out. Now as always, that is it for today guys. Please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe below. Just to appreciate this channel, I am having a giveaway in case you guys did not know. So in order to get those instructions on how to get more points for the giveaway, go down to the description below to get all the information that you need. Now guys, I have been trying to upload more videos daily. It's not been easy. I work a lot and I also have to help out the family some too. So if you guys want to see more content in the future, let me know. If you have any challenges you like, we would like me to do, if you want to know anything else in, in the video, or if you want have any questions about anything, any of the things I've listed, please let me know. If you have any concerns about the game itself, and maybe I can help you to improve those concerns. If you have any questions about how to get better on any of your platforms, please let me know in the comments section. And everyone